Good day everyone. For today's video, I am going to reflect myself for what I've learned in the Marple Annex S. So first, let's discuss about all the Annex 1. So the Marple Annex 1, I, uh, I understand that uh, it is entered into force on October 2nd in 1983. And I also understand in how to protect the marine environment through the complete elimination of pollution by oil and other damaging elements and to lessen the chances of accidental discharge of any such elements. So the Marple Annex 1 uh, gives the details to discharge the requirements for the prevention of the pollution by all oil and oily materials. So it continues to enforce the oil discharge criteria that is described in the 1969 amendments so to the 1954 Oil Pollution Convention. In Marple Annex 2, it is came to force on October 2, 1983. So it is already detailed there that the discharge criteria for each elimination of the pollution by noxious liquid substances carried by large quantities. So I already know how it divides in substance into the uh, how to introduce detailed operational standard and measures. So the main principle of the Annex 2 is to dilute the cargo residues in seawater to prescribe a limits and depending on their pollution hazard and to facilitate the distribution of the discharges by utilizing the wake of the ship. So now let's proceed to the Annex 3 of Marpol. So in Marpol Annex 3 which came into force on July 1, 1992, it is aimed to prevent or minimize the pollution of the marine environment by harmful substance, substances in the package forms. Here we go at Annex 4. So the Annex 4 contains a set of regulation that regarding to the discharge of sewage into the sea from ships. Huh? So including regulations regarding to the ship's equipments and systems for the control of the sewage discharge. So the provision of the port perception in Annex 4 is facilitated for sewage and requirements for survey and certification. So everyone, the main objective of what is known about the Marpol 73 and 78 agreement is to force at present. So it is to achieve the complete elimination of international marine environment from the pollution by the hydrocarbons and other harmful substances and also to reduce the accidental discharging of such substances. Hoping that you understand my reflection and have a good day. Thank you.